guys, today I'm going to show you Google Analytics and how to tell what's working with your social media. When you log into Google Analytics, you'll be brought to your dashboard where you can see an overview of everything for your website from the number of visits to the number of pages per session people are looking at. But what we want to talk about specifically today is actually the social media, what's working with your social media platforms. So over on the left hand side, you can see that you can actually get an overview of the social media platforms that are working best for your business and what's driving the most traffic from each of those platforms. And then it might show you some areas that you can improve on to increase your website traffic from those platforms. So I like to actually go and look at all of the traffic coming into your website where you can still see the social media platforms, but you can see the other referral traffic as well. So that's what we're gonna look at right now and then just kind of dive into what's important and what you need to be looking for. If you wanna show more rows, just go here and it will show you more referral sources. So you can see here that Facebook gives you a great amount of traffic, but you don't wanna only look at Facebook. So you can see the screen before shows you all of the traffic bulked into one. This breaks it down. So you can see like this is mobile Facebook. Um, this is Twitter. So um, the, the screen before in social will give it to in like a bulk amount of numbers, but this is good for breaking down that information. So what I like to pay attention to is the sessions, the new sessions, bounce rate is important. So if you have a high bounce rate, that means that people are going to your website and if they're there for under 10 seconds, I believe it is, they're just clicking off, then that means it's a bounce. So if you scroll down here, you can see where your highest bounce rate is. So you could see like from Facebook, it has a lower bounce rate, which is a good thing. People are staying longer. Whereas this one, there's a 100% bounce rate. So we'd wanna see why. Now, pages per session is important. So you wanna see if people are getting to your website and then they're just leaving, or if they're going to other pages. So this link right here is my social media course. So when people are going from there to my website, they're actually going to a few different pages. They're spending a lot of time on the website. So that's really interesting to me. So you want to not only pay attention to how long people are on this site, but you want to think of how are you referring people to your website. So for Facebook, as an example, I'm doing a lot of sharing my blog posts and giving tips and directing people to my website, which is probably why I'm getting a lot of referral traffic from Facebook. Same as Twitter, whereas Instagram, I'm focused on my one um, downloadable freebie social media guide. So you want to think of how much time you're spending on each of these platforms and what kind of content you're giving out. So maybe the content that I'm giving out on Facebook, I'm giving Facebook more, um, more attention, which is why I'm getting more traffic. So you want to think of those different things. Um, and then you can see here, like you can find like LinkedIn, Bing, all the different ways that you're getting traffic. So see how Pinterest down here is very low. I know that there's some bloggers that they get a huge amount of traffic from, from Pinterest. And I know that you should work on your strengths, not your weaknesses, but I know Pinterest has a huge potential and I haven't focused enough on Pinterest. So that's actually one platform that stands out to me that I know that I need to focus more time on. So this doesn't just show you the things that you're doing well, but it picks out things that maybe if you spent a little bit more time on that platform, if you have time and you can identify some platforms that have potential 
like it has potential, it's on here, so maybe if I just spend a little bit more time on it, that would result in more traffic. So that's where you would go to see some of your analytics for social media, see how many people are coming from that particular network. And again, if you want to see it all in a lump sum, you can go to your overview and then you can see all the numbers put together in this little chart here. Um, there's so many things I could show you in analytics. Um, so that would take a crazy long amount of time. Um, but yeah, so I just clicked on the full report and it shows you a bit more of a breakdown with page views, the average session duration. So that's a good little breakdown. Now, one other thing that I want to point out is that when you're looking at your analytics, you can do sort by a secondary dimension. So maybe you want to sort by your social media platform, but then you also want to search by data that you get. Um, so if you want to see where people are coming from browser wise, or if you want to see where people are coming from like mobile wise. So this shows you if it's on mobile or not. So more people are coming not on mobile from Facebook, which is interesting. And if you're getting a very low amount of mobile traffic, I check and see what kind of bounce rate you're getting and check and make sure that your site's mobile friendly. So that is some analytics for your social media.